Welcome everyone to this summary of Forza Horizon 5's 31st series update, European Automotive. We've got a dozen new cars and over 70 great event lab props this month, as well as a very exciting tease for the next update. But as always, let's start this video by diving into the playlist for this season. For our overall rewards, we have two returning cars from earlier seasons. The Ferrari 575M is coming back after being gone for quite a while. And the new RS6 showed up last, I believe, in Series 20. Then as we move into summer, we get our first new car of the series, one that was already teased, the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR. Pro, which is a car pass car from Motorsport that we're getting here in Horizon for free. And I think this is going to be a pretty wild car to have in Horizon. But if you're looking for something a bit more tame, the Renault Megane RS250 is coming back for 40 points as well. Now we can see further into the week that we're getting three event labs, which, you know, I said it last month, but I love this. These are always fun and they've gotten so much better at finding good picks for these. So I'm all for it. And then we actually are getting another new car, this one coming from Horizon 4, the Lance. Lancia Fulvia can be won from the Lucky Lancia Championship, so definitely don't forget to grab this during summer. And to wrap us up, the Forzathon shop will have the 599XX Evo, as well as the Bentley 8 liter, alongside some European themed race gear. Autumn then brings us the long awaited Volkswagen ID4? Alright, I would have liked to see the IDR here, but whatever, maybe someday. Our 40 point reward is the ATS GT. Only two event labs this week, but we get another car from Horizon 4 in the Cult Legends Championship, the Citroen DS23. And as you can see, this is the case with all the championship cars this month, the photo challenges all involve taking a picture of the new championship car, probably as an extra reminder to make sure you grab them. Now to wrap us up in autumn, the Forzathon shop has the lightweight E-Type and the F50 GT. For winter, we're getting a brand new car for 20 points, the 2021 AMG SL63, alongside the Forza Edition Mini for 40 points. Back up to three event labs this week, and the new championship car is the Lotus Esprit. One of my all-time favorites, I'm very excited to have this one back in Horizon. And to wrap it up, the iconic Enzo and Senna are both in the Forzathon shop. Now for spring, we've got an exciting new addition to Horizon here, the Mercedes-Benz 500E. Beautiful car, love seeing it here, and that comes alongside another chance to pick up the KZ1R as well. Now, I bet you won't expect what the championship vehicle is for this final week of the season, because I certainly didn't. It's the VW Doka, or Double Cab. I kind of forgot this existed, I believe it was a car pass car for Horizon 4, but it should be a pretty fun pickup for Mexico's roads as well. And our final Forzathon shop has the Koenigsegg 1 to 1 and Lambo Centenario. So in all, we've got 8 more free cars coming to Horizon 5 with this update, 4 of which are brand new to the Horizon series, with the other 4 returning, I think, all from Horizon 4. Great mix of cars though, all on theme, really my only wish here is that we got the IDR back. I really want to drive that up Vulcan Sprint. With that though, as is becoming custom with these monthly updates, we also have a paid car pack coming to the game with this season, aptly named the European Automotive Car Pack. This is a four car pack for five US dollars, and it's going to be bringing the 2021 Bentley Continental GT Convertible, 1987 Mercedes AMG Hammer Wagon, 2019 Jaguar XESV Project 8, and 2020 Automobili Pininfarina Batista. So this one's a bit interesting. 
We already have the Batista in Motorsport, so having to pay for it in Horizon is a bit weird. I just wish there was more consistency with that, because it's kind of all over the board with the payment structure between new cars getting added to Motorsport and transitioning to Horizon and vice versa. But overall, happy to see all these cars coming to the game. And that does it for the 12 new cars coming to the game with this update. Now, aside from some smaller additions like minor bug fixes and a new accolade for collecting the new seasonal cars, we have one more big addition coming to the game this month, and that is a total of 71 new Event Lab props. A lot of these are fantastic and super useful, so we're getting 25 total new surface platforms, 5 for each surface type, and these include large and small rounded edges, large and small triangles, and seamless square platforms, instead of the default ones that have these goofy white borders all around them. So that's great. I think this is going to be another one of those additions that really helps to amp up the level of quality people can put into their creations. And on that same level, we're also getting 40 new shapes. Now this is partially just different sized versions of existing shapes, but I'll throw them all up on screen here. And again, these basic shapes are so helpful for being able to make really custom prefabs and designs in Event Lab, so I'm super happy to see stuff like this. And it's worth pointing out that all of these shapes and the new platforms all have snapping. Now, for whatever reason, we're also getting six new dinosaurs this month. I have no idea why, but sure, I'm here for it. I was almost trying to think like, are there gonna be dinosaurs in the next Fable game? And maybe they just thought it'd be fun to throw those same models into Horizons Event Lab too? I don't know, but hey, here's some dinos. And to wrap it up for new Event Lab props, we're also getting this Evolving World Star Trophy for use in the builder as well. So overall, a great Event Lab update with some really useful additions and some very unique ones as well. And folks, that just about does it for this month, so you know we've got one thing left to do, look at the teaser for the next update. This one is going to be called the Horizon Race Off and is featuring some new collectibles, of course, some new cars. I really hope we get some race spec cars, maybe even from Motorsport, like some more touring cars or GT spec, perhaps. There's new community challenges as well, and I think this is implying something like the Secret Santa events, which could be interesting. And then finally, the Race Off Takeover. I have no idea what this is. It could be just a stadium transformation or something small, or maybe a whole new feature. I would love to see perhaps some type of update to the head-to-head -head feature that's in-game, and that's kind of what this looks like, but we'll just have to wait and see. With that, thanks everyone for watching this summary of Horizon 5's European Automotive Update, and I'll see you all in the next video.